record record so doubt is like why there is a st depression in case of uh, hypertrophy so this is the myocardium lv which you have these are the blood vessels which were supplying them now this much extra hypertrophy has occurred this hypertrophy supply uh, myocardium is not been completely like not complete supply is not being done by the existing blood vessels so there will be relative ischemia which occurs so ischemia which is occurring that is the that is uh, depicted in ecg as st depression that st depression which we call it here as strain pattern okay so uh, myocardial ischemia can be mi or infarction or infarction ischemia can be like depicted by either st elevation or by st depression here which we are seeing in case of hypertrophy is st depression that's we will again discuss that in uh, STEMI and NSTEMI when we are discussing tomorrow, we'll just have a little bit look on it and we'll go ahead. Okay. Now coming to your bundle branch blocks, RBB and LBB. I think last time I for your batch, your senior batch, everybody I took, I explained the mechanism. Finally, nobody understood it at first attempt. They took a lot of time for understanding. They got confused with so many things. So because you people have like short uh, exams are coming very short, we'll discuss in short. Like what are the findings in RBBB and LBB? We will not go with the why that waveforms are formed like that. Okay, so V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. We are going to look at only these leads for RBBB and LBBB. In that again, specifically V1 and V6 only. V1 and V6 are the only two leads which we are going to look for RBBB and LBBB. What is RBBB? Is right bundle branch block, right bundle branch block, and one more is left bundle branch block. So what happens when there is a bundle branch block is there is a slow conduction, okay? Because of the bundle branch branch block, what happens? We'll draw the diagram here. This is your uh, AV node. This is your main bundle branch. Now this is your left bundle branch and this is your right bundle branch. Like this, the uh, fibers are going. So now this is the left bundle branch which has been blocked now, okay? So what happens is now the impulse came like this. It came till here and it halted. Then it went through the right bundle branch block. Then from here, myocardium to myocardium, it is going to spread. Okay, not via Purkinje fibers. So this pathway is going to be slow than this side pathway because this is by your Purkinje fibers. This is by your myocardium to myocardium. So what happens is QRS complex, which is normally short QRS complex, that QRS complex become wider now. Okay, if the QRS complex is wider, that is more than 120 milliseconds. Okay, then we call it as wide QRS complex. If it is less than 120 milliseconds, then it is a normal QRS complex. So in case of bundle branch blocks, we have two types again. We have got a complete bundle branch block and we have got an incomplete bundle branch block. So both the findings are same in incomplete and complete bundle branch, except for complete bundle branch QRS complex will be more than 120 milliseconds in duration. Incomplete will be less than 120 milliseconds in duration. Okay, so these are the basics which you should know. Now coming to the basic waveform morphologies of this. In case of right bundle branch block, what we are going to have is, we are going to have V1 to V6, some pattern called as marrow. So this is M, A, R, R, O, and W. So the waveform is, for example, this is your P wave, this is Q, R, S, and T. So what we'll have here is R, S, R dash. This is the V1 pattern. You understood? This is the M, what I am written, or this is the pattern of Q wave. W is the pattern of Q wave in V6. So how we are going to remember for this one, like what you can do is if you're taking this as RBBB only. So you can remember there is a rabbit, something like that. Okay, bunny is there. You have got M here as ears. So you have got M, A, R, R, O, W, marrow, like M for your rabbit ears, rabbit, RBBB. This much, if you remember, I think it's more than enough. Okay, this is for your RBBB pattern. I'll show how the rabbit ears look and how the marrow looks here. Okay, and next we'll come for one more is we'll come for LBBB. We'll take this as LBBB. So in LBBB, what is there? We have got something called as William. This is V1, this is V6, or we sometimes get V. I, L, L, I, A, W. So this is the waveform. QRS complex looks like a W in V1 and M in V6. 
or V alphabet in V1 and M in V6. This is how the LBBB and RBBB morphologies look like. So if you take V1 and V6, and if you have RBBB pattern, and if you have LBBB pattern, so this will be marrow, this will be V bar W William. Any doubt in this? We'll see the examples next. ECG. So this ECG, who will tell me what it is? See, I told ECGs are the real difficulties and uh, we really don't know what is going to happen in this. Explanation wise, it is difficult and this is also difficult. If you carefully see the QRS complex width here, whatever is there, it is more than 120 milliseconds. Actually, if you have to calculate, like we have got practice by seeing this, it is like more than that. Whatever the M which we said, no, this is the M here. It is very difficult to identify that M. Something like this, it is. this is the one point of M, this is another point of M. W, it is very difficult to do W here. One of these wing of W is very small here. It went like this and then it came. So the marrow is here. This is the M. This is the W here. Could everyone identify that marrow? Wait. Not able to zoom. Is everyone able to see that marrow M? I don't know. This first round which I have done in that M you can see it's a small, first peak is very small, big negative wave is there. Then you have got one more big positive wave. In the W you can see here, I think. This first W is there, no, first dip. It is very short a dip is there. Then we have got a very big positive wave. Then one short W again. Okay, so this is your marrow. So this is your RBBB. So this is the real ECG, how it looks and how the teaching goes, okay? This one, can anyone tell? We have to look at two waves only, V1 and V6 only. No other waves we are going to look at. I think here it is easy to identify. It is marrow only. See, this is the M which is there here. This is one peak, this is one peak, this is M. W is here. Okay. This is this W is also same. Doing like this, the W is. This is this is. So this is again RPBB. Duration of QRS complex, you see this. Duration of QRS is more than 120 milliseconds. Okay. Next, this one. V1 to V6. 1, 6. Somebody told LBBB. For LBBB, first it should be W or it should be William. So there is no W here, no William here. So it is RBBB only. This is again M here. This is again dysmorphic M. And here W, this chota first dip is not that clear, but you have to make sure that you see something like that. Okay. It is again RBBB. See, this is the difficulty with your normal ECGs. Now this one. Ah, this is V. This is LBBB. This you can see V here. This is M. I don't know how many of you are able to appreciate M here. I'll zoom and I'll show if possible. Okay. There is a small notch here, okay? In the V6, especially third view, you can see that short notch is only M. Okay. So we have got M like this short and notch it is like I am magnifying and showing it something like this much only in short and notch is there this is M and if you carefully visualize here in this V chota tip also there is small W like ah. not very clear see it is not as pointed at this one 
you come uh, this one you see you can see here something no something like this it is like v2 the v1 is not very pointed can you can you appreciate that difference chota sa difference like v2 the v1 points are not very pointed slight obscuration is there that is the w there okay now this one i said v5 and all we are not going to see we are going to see only v1 and v6 other leads we are not going to use for checking this one ha this is rbbb you have a m you have a m here you have got a w here okay this one this is lbbb we have got a big v here and you have got something like m here but not very classical but some notching is there okay so this is your lbbb and one more thing which you can identify here if you people have observed the ccg there is st depression here did you observe v5 and v6 there is st depression so there is st depression there is left bundle branch block okay both are seen here not just lvh it could be due to your mi also hypertrophies will not cause your blocks lbbb and all will not be due to hypertrophy it is due to mi somebody said varun okay it is due to correct varun has said like mi mi is going to cause your blocks as well as st depression ischemia is going to cause your st depression and ischemia is also causing your blocks okay and see here how much big the deep wave is here almost it is this big there is the positivity you see here actually these both are replica of the same right actually it should have been this much big positive here it is not that big positive so this is big negative here this is not that big positive that's why it could be again mi is the possibility here and this one yen nagar yen gotta tenu gotta val non book this you can see here m this you can see here w somebody was just telling i am not able to understand anything i think that person could be able to see m here something like this m is there here this w is there here this one this is v here m is there m is not that quite visible see here again that time we discussed the same one this was a big negative ratio in lv but here it should have been a big positive of lv it is not there so again this is a ischemia which has occurred here mi that mi has caused both lbbb as well as your ischemia here so this is your again lbbb so i think this much is more than enough for today lbbb rbbb and uh, or uh, lvh and other things so if you want i'll show some ecgs if you want i'll show otherwise i'll end here only what we'll do you want to see ecgs means i'll show so interested people can stay others can exit okay this is a pg level book i think you people need not uh, uh read from this and all it is too detailed ecg book i'll just show you some ecg is that's it okay see this is a ecg showing rv hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy is there see here okay in this we can see there is a v1 is very big positive v6 is also like shear negative wave how much big it is you can see st depression in v1 v2 v3 this is your uh, rvh is there then any lvh is there i'll show ha huh. can anyone tell what is there here one second ha huh. in the six leads 1 2 3 avr avl avf 
can anyone tell what is there about p wave first wave of ecg what is there in p wave somebody type p mitral ala no 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 p mitral will be flat and wide it's a p pulmonal so this is a case of copd okay if you want you read the just read the description in chronic pulmonary disease the heart is vertically oriented that all you don't want uh, anyway they have written heart is uh, here see with p pulmonal last but one line heart is rotated clockwise with p pulmonal in lead 2 3 avf these changes are consistent with type c right ventricular hypertrophy i don't want your people to know about type 1 type 2 type 3 and all those things it is very complicated so we don't want that see we have got different different types of rvh and all we just know like what is rvh okay that's more than enough for you people mm. anything else Chamber enlargement. See, this is a LVH. Where did it go? here we have got a left axis dvs here this is two is hypertrophied with st straight depressions are there and we have got v5 v6 with st depression v1 and v6 both are going to make more than 35 small boxes so this is your st depression with lvh okay i think uh, i have to it's better like uh, i have to take screenshots and send i am feeling difficulty in showing the ecg is like this right ventricular hypertrophy criteria is there here yeah, somebody asked no take care here for oh, shit it i am not able to find somewhere it went this is the criteria here abnormalities in qrs complex right axis deviation qr complex r wave measuring this rs ratio more than one so many things are there just i want you to know remember like right axis deviation with rv strain pattern along with that you have got more than 11 i think that is more than enough there are so many other criteria like for easy identification there's three are enough okay again we have type 1 type 2 type 3 and all i think it is not much required for you people bottle branch block see this is how even the books describe with your right bundle branch block like r and m pattern so nicely they give it in the description but it will never be like that okay they also give like see here m is there r is there everything they'll give it but in reality there will be no m or no r which is visible properly okay see here this is a complete rbbb we get a pattern of m here and w at least is not visible only okay and one more thing if you really want to understand some one more concept is there but uh, i don't want you to identify in ecg if there is right bundle branch block plus associated like left anterior fascicular block okay we have got something like this is your bundle branch this is your right bundle branch then you have got left bundle branch from left bundle branch you have got left anterior fascicle and then we have got left posterior fascicle again we have subdivisions so there is if there is associated of left so if this is also blocked then the ecg will show associated left axis deviation if the lpf is blocked associated right axis deviation if you remember this much i think it's more than enough so lad will cause lap lpf will cause your right axis deviation 
anterior fascicular block will be with the left axis deviation posterior fascicular with the right axis deviation i think it's more than enough arterial calculation in atrial fibrillation somebody has like that only uh, we'll take one ecg only wait here that is easier to calculate i'll show you how to calculate atrial fibrillation okay we have got an ecg here okay now see here this is the ecg which down one whatever ecg is having there here uh, okay we'll come here see this is the ecg which we have for atrial fibrillation here we are having a variable ecg interval are there no so i think it's difficult to calculate for me here just i'll try here see this is a one big line is there i think these are five boxes 10 15 20 25 30 so these are five big boxes five 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 big big boxes are there okay these are the this will it will be 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second 5 second 6 seconds 6 seconds of ecg i have taken in this calculate the number of rr intervals now 1 1 r wave 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so 8 qrs complexes are there in your 10 uh, 6 seconds are there 6 second ecg are there so in 60 second ecg there should be approximately 80 qrs So each QRS complex tells for one heartbeat. Okay, like that. Now we'll take this one as example here. Means it's around five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six bits we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have again eight with eight QRS complex here. So eight QRS complex in six seconds. So 80 QRS complex in 60 seconds. So their heart rate is 80. 80 per minute. Any doubt? Somebody said 130. I don't know how 130 it came. I don't know. I calculated approximately. I did not calculate the boxes actually. Maybe 130 also. I don't know. I am just putting approximately. Okay. then tomorrow we'll discuss little bit about uh, this one uh, what is it mi and then we'll directly go for your exam charts tomorrow okay okay chalo tomorrow we'll meet again bye